What's up guys, Sebastian here with Vloggers Vintage. Today we'll be talking about the mythical overdrive, the Clown Centaur. Uh, we just got this in, this is an original 1999 uh, gold version with the horsey on it. The pedal was introduced in 1994 when the boutique uh, pedal market really wasn't on its boom yet. During the early 90s, Bill Finnegan was working on a circuit that would basically emulate the tone of his amp turned up at a much lower volume. He wasn't happy with the offerings at the time, pedals like the Tube Screamer or the SD-1, so he designed his own circuit to emulate that sound. The pedal went into production from 94 all the way to 2008, and most of them were built in very small batches by Bill himself. Uh, the pedal went through uh, different changes aesthetically, although the circuit stayed the same. As you can tell, well, clone prices have surged over the past uh, few years, some of them reaching very high numbers in the used market. And original units really weren't that common back then. I mean, these pedals were built by hand, so there weren't a lot available in the market. So once they stopped production, the prices of the used ones really started going up. And it's a pretty versatile overdrive. Although the interface is just very simple, gain, treble, and output, you can actually do so much with it. So the clone differs from other overdrive pedals in the way it is designed. The way the circuit works, basically when you go in into the input, your signal gets doubled from nine volts into 12 volts, which increases the headroom quite a bit. Then uh, the pedal goes through a gain stage that basically mixes in the clean signal with the overdrive signal. What that does is that it really gives you a lot of uh, range and clarity in the overdrive and also gives you a lot of flexibility with the gain up. So when you are, are at 11 on the gain, you're basically having no overdrive on the signal and it's pretty much just clean. So at that point, you can adjust the output of the pedal and simply use it as a clean boost. However, the more you start introducing gain, not only are you getting more gain in your signal, but the EQ of the pedal becomes more prominent. I would describe the tone of the clone not as transparent as people call it. In fact, it's not transparent at all. The pedal has a very clear mid hump, which with a guitar, it happens to be a section of the EQ that just really fattens up your sound, especially if you use single coils. The pedal also cuts a bit of bass and a bit of treble. And although you can run a pretty flat EQ if you play around with the gain control, um, generally you still hear some of that EQ, which again, is very musical, very uh, desirable if you really want to stand out in a band mix. So the guitar that we'll be using for the demo is this Telecaster Custom American Vintage 2. Uh, this is based around a 1977 model and it's a killer guitar. It's super light, the neck is super comfortable and it sounds amazing. So uh, the amp that we'll be using is a stock Blackface Deluxe Reverb Reissue. Um, it sounds really good. We'll be riding the volume control to get natural overdraft out of the amp and also getting a clean sound as well. But I would say that overall, this is a wonderful pairing with the clone and they sound really, really good together. So let's talk about three different things that you can do with a clone pedal. So the first step will be to use your clone as a plain overdraft. What do I mean by that? If you start controlling your output so that it matches the unity level, basically the volume of the pedal when it's off, um, you can then start using your overdrive almost as like a two channel uh, situation here. You can have your clean sound and then you can have your overdrive. Or you can simply just start adding a little bit more overdrive to your already dirty signal. Um, when you do that with the clone, you're gonna notice that it's actually not as transparent as a lot of people call it. You have a very prominent low mid hump as well as a bass cut and a slight treble cut. Now, if you're running the pedal at 11 where there's no drive signal, it'll be close to flat. But as you start introducing gain, you're gonna notice that sort of EQ. I think that it's something that for cutting in a band mix is very important. Just really getting that mid boost is gonna give you the umph necessary to cut through and being heard. And the way it feels under your fingers is not compressed at all. It's very musical and very rich.
The second tip will be to use your clone as a clean boost. So like I mentioned earlier, if you have your gain control at 11, you basically are gonna have no uh, dirty signal uh, going through the pedal. So if you start cranking the output at that point, this pedal is so loud and has so much headroom that you can really just give you a really nice clean boost. You can use this to push your amp or just to get more volume during a solo. Um, it's very versatile. <laughs> The third tip will be to use your clone as a boost to run an amp that already has some drive into it into more of a distorted territory. For example, if you're running a blackface fender on the edge of breakup and then you want a bit more you know, volume and gain for your solos, the clone is a pedal that will do that job perfectly. Because of its EQ, the more gain you start introducing, the more mids you're gonna have. And then if you start playing around with the output, not only are you gonna hit the front of the amp harder, but you're also gonna get some volume as well. So uh, using like this is one of my favorite uh, ways of using a clone. I feel like the way it sounds, you know, with an amp that already has some gain, it's just beautiful. <laughs> If you want to pick up any of the gear used here, the links will be down below in the description. For more information, visit our website, waltgracevintage.com. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. For more information, follow us on Instagram at, at @waltgracevintage. My name is Sebastian. Till next time.